Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will answer three questions. First, what is the data table dot import sheet functionality? Second, how to use the data table dot import sheet functionality? And third, how to manually validate the data table import sheet functionality. As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above. To answer the first question of what is the data table dot import sheet functionality, the data table dot import sheet functionality allows us to import the contents of one single tab off of an external Microsoft Excel spreadsheet and overwrite the contents of one of the existing QTP data tables during a test run. Now how to use the data table dot import sheet functionality is very easy. It's only one line of code. It's not difficult at all. To begin with, you need to type the word data table. So that is D-A-T-A-T-A-B-L-E and then type a period. You'll then see a drop down list appear. For this video we're interested in using the import sheet functionality. So once you locate that, double click that option. Once you double click that you'll notice that the drop down will go away. You then need to hit the space bar to create a space. You now need to enter a quotation mark. We now need to enter the file location of the Excel spreadsheet that we're going to be importing. Once you've done that, enter another quotation mark to close the string. You now need to type a comma. Then we need to tell it in the external Excel spreadsheet which tab do we want to import. We can do this in one of two ways. We, the first way we can do it is by using the index number of the tab. The index numbers would start with 1. So for example, the first tab in the Excel spreadsheet would have an index value of 1. The second would have an index value of 2. And so on. However, the other way that we can tell QTP which tab to import is we can actually give it the name of the tab. Now, I've already opened up a practice Excel spreadsheet that we'll be using for this exercise. There's only one tab in the sheet, and it has a name of global. So for this exercise, again, I could enter a value of 1 for the index number, or I could actually enter the word global as the name of the data sheet that I want to enter. So I'll go ahead and do that. So to enter the name of the tab, you need to contain it within quotation marks. So I'll make an opening quote, and I'll type the word global, then I'll close it out with another quotation mark. Once you've done that, you now need to type another comma. Now we need to tell QTP, once we import in the Excel tab, what QTP data table do we need to overwrite with that information. Now this is important to note because when you import information from an external Excel tab, it will overwrite the information that is in the QTP data table that you tell it to overwrite. So in this example, I'm looking to overwrite the values that are within the global data table. So quite like before, you can either enter an index number of the tab or the name of the tab. So in this example, since I'm looking to overwrite the global tab, it's the first tab, so I could enter a value of 1, or I could enter the word global contained within quotation marks. Either way works fine. Now prior to running our script, I want to type in an extra line that will allow us to pause the script's execution uh, before it completes, so that way we can see the data that was imported because when the data is imported, that data will only live as long as the test is running. So once the test stops, the data that had been in the QTP data table will come back, and the values that you had overwritten it with will go away. Now before I run my test, 
I want to go ahead and close the Excel sheet because the Excel sheet needs to be closed uh, for it to be able to import its contents. Now I'll go ahead and run my script and I can do that in one of two ways. The first way is I can hit the F5 key on the keyboard or I can click the run key or the run button near the top left corner of the window. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with a run window. You can then click the OK button for the script to run. Now the script will only take a few moments since there's only a couple of lines. I've paused the script's execution before the test finished, so that way now we can validate that the import completed successfully. Now, as you can see, the global tab now contains first name column, and last name column, and then the values of John and Doe, which were the values that I had created in the global tab in the external Excel spreadsheet. So this now validates that the script was able to successfully import the Microsoft Excel tab contents and overwrite the values that were within a QTP data table. That now concludes our video. Thank you and I hope that you have a great day.